Welcome to another video of Imperial Labs video tutorials. In this video we're going to talk about bridge networking, namely where would you need a bridge, why should you use a bridge, and so on. Well, um, in this video we've got like four parts. The first part where we talk about um, what is a bridge, where, where do you use it, the different kind of examples that you could actually use a bridge, and so on, different kind of bridges. The second part where we go into the operating system Windows XP and talk how you could actually show you how you could actually create a bridge and what kind of configuration you have to do before and after you create the bridge. The third and fourth part would be actually referred to um, layer 2 bridging and layer 3 bridging. So depending, um, it would be actually, we would actually go into the depth of the um, aspects of bridging that how it works and so on so if you're interested uh, in the first part you could just um, just watch the video until um, probably the um, minutes for 30 minutes 30 40 minutes and if you're interested completely to see how it works completely and so on you could watch the whole video so depending on the need um, I just uh, thought it would be better first off to um, explain this and then move ahead to the depth of the bridge networking aspects and so on. Okay, so to start off, first of all, the question that you might ask is that where do I need a bridge? Well, bridge is used in networks. For example, you need to connect two different networks to each other, although they are using two different medias. For example, one is connect one of the, uh, your networks that you have is connected with phone lines. The other networks that you have is an Ethernet network and it's connected with an eth Ethernet cables and so on. For example, if you've got another um, network which is a wireless network either an ad hoc wireless network or a wireless infrastructure and you want to connect it to a wired network such as an ethernet network such as a phone light network such as an HBNA network depending on your needs so when you want to connect two different networks to each other for example as you see here I've got one network here these two computers are connected to a phone line adapter it's the HBNA network here and here we've got another network, it's an Ethernet network, three computers are connected to a switch. But if I didn't have this one, okay, this network wouldn't have been able to communicate with this one, and this network wouldn't have been able to communicate with this one. But with the aid of the bridge, okay, it would be able to, um, these two networks would be able to communicate with, with each other. For example, these two computers would be able to use the internet connection, they would be able to share files in each other, and so on, and so on. Okay, so um, as you see here, as the bridge here, I'll put a big B on it, as the bridge here, we've got a computer placed in it. So to make it clear, we've got two types of bridges. One are software bridges, and the other one are hardware bridges. I think you can see it here, this is a Linksys bridge where actually this is the hardware bridge, actually some device that you connect the networks to and it will just do the rest for you. But when you're using actually Windows XP for example to create your bridge and connect two different connections, two different networks to each other, um, that would be a software bridge. The reason is that you're actually installing the software on your computer that would um, afterwards that it would act actually act as a bridge okay so we've got two different bridges software bridges and hardware bridges hardware bridges are a device simply like this and we've got software bridges like the one that you just installing on your XP computer okay so that's about it so let's go ahead to say uh, what do we have here Okay, well, here as you see, as we said, when th these actually, these shapes here are actually uh, meant to be bridges. So, okay, well, as you see here, we've got three different segments or three different networks. Okay, segment one, or network one, network two, network three. Okay, and they are bridged one by one to each other. Okay, when they are bridged one by one to each other, um, the bridge actually would be looking at them as a one big logical segment and as we said the traffic in segment 3, segment 2 and segment 1 would remain in itself and it actually won't, won't be bothering the other networks and bringing uh, load traffic uh, to them okay so and the other one here's another example for example we've got another network here and they are all connected to a bridge device 
either it could be a bridge hardware like the Linksys one that we just saw or it could be a computer running a bridge software on it so again um, this would be actually to the bridge it would be actually a big whole big logical network for those who understand um, a big broadcast domain a complete logical one lo uh, logical broadcast domain and but the traffic stays and remains in each of these segments as well okay so either we could actually um, connect all of our um, segments to one bridge device or we could actually connect them one by one to each other such like this okay so let's go and take a look at what kind of examples do we have here okay so the first example as we saw there let's just give it a flashback here we had um, one HPNA network here we had one Ethernet network and the computer here was actually acting as a bridge and connecting these two networks to each other okay let's go to the next example okay here as you see again we've got an Ethernet network here two computers connected to a switch another Ethernet network here two computers connected to a switch and this computer in the middle is acting as a bridge okay couple of things you have to know the computer that is going to act as a bridge has to have connectivity to this network and has to have connectivity to this network okay so if we are going to connect for example two networks to each other this computer should have connectivity to the both networks namely it has to have two network cards here and here which would be able to communicate with these two networks and our own concern before bridging would be that this network doesn't have access to this network and doesn't have communication and this network doesn't have access to this network so by creating our bridge actually it would be able this co computer here that 